Hello world folks, good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. According to a rural expert, the publication of the Duke of Sussex book may have been delayed because it conflicted with Michelle Obama's In the New Year. Prince Harry eagerly awaited the memoir, described as the book as raw, unflinching honesty, will be released. The title of Harry's book, Spare, which is a play on words, the air and the spare, will be made available worldwide on January 10th. However, Rebecca English, royal editor of the Daily Mail, noticed that the given November 15th release date of Michelle Obama's new book, The Light We Carry, might have not been available for Christmas. Miss English told Palace Confidential that the book's January 10th release surprised many in the publishing sector, who had anticipated wanting to take advantage of the holiday rush. Someone I spoke with claimed that they wouldn't put off something this important until January. I've been told that the problem is twofold. They got Michelle Obama's book, and there might be a problem with the binding of volumes. I believe there is a problem in America with really having raw goods to produce books. The publication was supposed to hit bookstores this fall. But there's been a conjecture that the release of the date was postponed out of respect for the Queen after her passing. It has been said to have had potentially damaging content removed. However, the royal family and the Duke's father, Charles, who is currently the King in the early stages of his reign, are likely to be bracing themselves for discoveries. In a press statement announcing the memoir's release, Penguin Random House stated, Spare brings readers right back to one of the most searing pictures of the 20th century. Two boys. Two princes marching behind their mother's coffin while the world watches in sadness and terror. Billions of people pondered what the princess must be thinking and feeling as Diana, Princess of Wales, was laid to rest, as well as how their lives would proceed after that. For Harry, this is finally his narrative. Spare a groundbreaking book on the enduring power of love over sadness, as well as insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won wisdom. A king representative declined to comment. If Harry decides to explore the most contentious aspects of historical royal life, the royal family will be subject to negative tabloid headlines. He could discuss his tense relationship with his father and his difficult times with his brother William, the Prince of Wales, as well as the member of the royal family he believes a racist remark regarding the likely skin color of his then-unborn son, Archie. Harry stayed the book when publishing agreement for what it is initially revealed in 2021. I'm writing this not as a prince. I was born as the man I've become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively. I hope by sharing my experience, the highs and lows, the mistakes and the lessons learned, I may illustrate that regardless of where we come from, we have more in common than we believe. So what do you guys think about this news? Write it down in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.